Welcome to the fourth Moggy Method. Today I'll be showing you how I make my hanging basket brackets. After marking and cutting the steel, I forge round tapers on both ends using the bick of my anvil and my three pound hammer. If anybody's interested in an anvil anatomy video, just like leave a comment or something. because it helps to move more material kind of like when you squeeze a tube of toothpaste it does the same sort of thing it's just it's easier uh, and the chalk marks on the anvil that you saw are how I make sure that all my tapers are the same length Paper, you start by making a square one and then you take off the corners to make an octagon and then take off the corners again until it's round. on both ends. I give it another heat and I put a nibbin on the end as a safety feature. This is just so that like, you don't catch your hand or your clothes on the, the tip of it, especially if it starts to rust it'll become scratchy. After I've done the nibbin I use the bit to form the hook on one end. sexy shot coming up in a minute guys like you have no idea just give it a minute are you ready you're not ready for this are you ready Fix 
putting the bracket up later so it's where the screws go through. And the little piece that comes out of this hole now is called a slug. go back to the other end that's already got the taper on. I do the same process again of putting on a nibbin and then a hook. I don't do both nibbin and hooks at the same time because this second one has to go in the opposite direction and ends up making it difficult to get the ball punches in the same line, they tend to twist. further down the bar and I move on to the bending. I use the jaws of the vise to bend this section. You can also use things called uh, dog tools which are two prongs that you bend in between but if you've not got that then uh, a vise jaws works the same way. I use the vise and bending tools rather than hitting it with a hammer because um, when you hit it with a hammer, the hammer blows actually warps the steel and makes it go all wiggly rather than giving it a nice smooth bend. Once all the bending's finished and it lines up with its uh, couple, I work on getting it straightened up and giving it a really good wire brush. It's important to give things a good wire brush because otherwise the scale ends up sticking to it again in another heat. The way I've designed and engineered these brackets is to distribute the weight of a basket even when it's fully watered along the curve and the screws on and the straps. by warming it over the fire and giving it a generous wax using my renaissance wax. I use this to seal the metal and fend off any rust after waxing. Got to get the wax in the holes as well because that's the first point that you'll start to get rust. hang it up and leave it to air dry or air cool. And that's how I make my hanging basket brackets. Please like and subscribe, follow my social media and check out my Etsy or website if you're interested in buying some. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and join us again next time. Bye!